Alternates 1.26 new alpha feature pod scheduling readiness. If I go to the Kubernetes blog on December 26, 2022, this feature was released. This is related to the scheduling. Let's try to understand what is the scheduling and how it works. Then after that, we'll go to the pod scheduling readiness. So as we know, Kubernetes cluster will have a one master node and node group of worker nodes. One, two, three. So this is a three node Kubernetes cluster. And we know from the CKA that node, every worker node will have to install a kubelet and CNI container network interface and kube proxy and also container D. Ultimately, kubelet will communicate with the container D and create a pod. That's what the we know. Let's say if we create a one pod that's going to hit a kube API server which will be there in the master node of course and kube API server will pass through the an authentication and authorization phase also kube API server will have a one most important is a controller or kube controller that is a, a plugin for the kube API server this will be comes into the picture then after that kube scheduler this is also one of the component in a kubernetes cluster and then ultimately this will be stored into the etcd database so here when you are creating a pod pod will be scheduled since it's a three node kubernetes cluster where it has to schedule that scheduling will be taken care by this guy kube scheduler or scheduler since we here the three node where to schedule there are some algorithms which is one is a filtering this guy kube scheduler will check whether one two three has enough resources when i say resources what are means like a cpu memory etc and these are the schedulable or not one two three is it a schedulable if this is schedulable this one this one it will check that's the first second is a scoring yes resources are available in a three but we have to give the score so that the scoring basically it will find out the most suitable and the ranking it will give the rank where it will go the first second third since it's a multi node right and accordingly finally it will after the ranking it will assign the part to the highest ranking node here the remember is everything happen in the form of a stages so let's say this part is resides in a node 2 right behind the scene these are the steps will happen which is in the form of a stages here filtering and scoring is the two key steps filtering and scoring point of view there are two major aspects one is a scheduling policies and scheduling profiles these scheduling policies and profiles are inbuilt with the scheduler which is the default scheduler every kubernetes cluster will have a default scheduler that default scheduler will have a, these two policies and profile policies will predicates for the filtering means like it will estimates these policies will helps to estimate the filtering capabilities second is priorities as well so filtering and scoring in terms of the scoring right the second step these policies will help also scheduling profiles scheduling profiles are something like a, a plugins which will help in a different stages right and this all everything like a policies and profiles are available in the scheduling configuration means every kubernetes scheduler will have a, a scheduling configuration if no scheduling configuration available means there is a default scheduling configuration so so here the stages are important so here stages point of view filtering and scoring will happen in a, these are the various stages first it will put into the scheduling queue queue sort pre filter filter post filter pre score score preserve permit pre bind bind post bind multi point these are the various stages of a scheduling internally it happens first we will put into the queue pre filter filter post filter something like that so something like if you are buying a home what you will do first of all you will try to identify a, a good builder 
then after that you will try to identify the which is matching with your budget then after that you will choose it then after that you will go and have a look then after that something like that you will buy a home similarly the kubernetes scheduler will have all these scheduling stages which helps to decide what node and the bind is the most important the stage now these are the stages are happens with the help of extension points extension points are with the scheduling plugins so if you look at the kubernetes documentation these are the extension points are by default available by the kubernetes scheduler out of that the most important plugins are tain tain toleration node name node port node affinity these are the which underscore a given these we have learned in the cka these are the scheduling related concept this will helps to filter and score pre score in the various steps these are the plugins are available each and every plugin will helps in a, a different decision right i hope this will help so we need not to dig much into the details but these are the four are important with respect to the plugins if any of the plugin matches which will gives the priority if you specify some tain tain toleration as per the cka knowledge right in that will helps to filter out the where to schedule a node etc and if you specify a node i want to schedule the pod in a specific node this will help node port and affinities if you specify i don't want in this node and something like a, some condition this will help and if you have a volumes and persistence and etc etc if you define a priority so each and every plugin has a own uh, have a own significance so that scheduler will takes into the consideration when scheduling right now pod scheduling readiness which is a today's feature so what exactly it is let's say there is a three node kubernetes cluster right same like a previous example and you trying to apply a pod and that pod will go to the scheduler queue as i said as filtering scoring and highest ranking in the form of a stages right this queue what happens is queue will and as per the data structure this is a queue queue means push and pop right this queue will have a pop operation and pop out you take out from the queue and put it into the scheduling and there is a cycles why the cycles is when the pod is checks for the in the filtering and scoring whether it's a schedulable let's say node 1 node 2 node 3 are not schedulable no resources are available no cpu available no memory available what happens it will go back to again the scheduler again and the pod will be in the pending mode whatever you will see in the black and white console so these things will keep happens keep happen in the form of a cycle whether it will go back to the cycle whether it's schedulable no resource available schedule no resource available until you add a new node or increase the memory of this pod still this pod will be in the form of a scheduling pending in that case what happens is with this scenario this cycle keep on happen this rotation checking whether schedulable again go to school queue so there is no control and this is really a burden to the cube api server that this scheduler will keep checking keep checking keep checking keep checking right that's why this queue pod scheduling readiness is invented how it happens how it works is pod scheduling gate it's a gate right so now same there is a pod definition and the, which went to, to the queue rather than checking directly here there is a pre and queue check pre and queue whether should i pop out this is a gate where it's a gate whether it's a meeting the scheduling requirement if not meet then it will stop here itself let's say here no memory nothing is available and it will go back to scheduler queue and it will wait here until this gate is passed gate is nothing but whenever you are entering into the one office there is a gate security will stop you something like that it's a gate then yes enough resources are available in my node group 
then it will go and start the cycle and checks whether it's schedulable yes it's schedule if not then go back this is the what the get so this a gate has been introduced and if the gates are not met then pod won't be scheduled so it's a very simple right so like you have a check before the scheduling that is in the form of a scheduling gate how you will check this is a pod definition right under the spec there is a scheduling gates a new thing which is introduced and which will have a in the form of a key value pairs this is a array yaml array where you specify the scheduling gate specific conditions if these two condition matches then only this pod will be scheduled into the cluster that's how you will define now the demo time since it's alpha feature we need to enable first so enabling in a two steps process one is in a cube api server yaml file level which is in the master node this particular path it's available right and hyphen hyphen feature gets equal to pod scheduling readiness equal to true so whatever the alpha feature or beta feature you wanted to enable you have to add it hyphen hyphen feature gets equal to pod scheduling readiness equal to true comma and whatever the alpha feature and this is the what the documentation and if you search with the pod scheduling readiness right it's alpha feature by default is a false you need to enable it manually some of the features are beta features which are enabled by default so this uh, is a documentation you need to check so this is what the pod scheduling readiness right and go back to the slide then second is a cube scheduler which also resides in the same path of the cube api server right and hyphen hyphen feature gets equal to pod scheduling readiness equal to true so right and this is a my two node kubernetes cluster and which is running on the 1.26.1 and this is what the container d version and i am going inside the my cube api server and i ssh into the my master node right at see kubernetes and manifest this is a path and when you do the ls this is a cube api server this is a cube scheduler right so now so just clear everything and then just do the ls right vi and the cube api server right and we need to be a little bit careful while doing that so hyphen 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 right so better to copy from here pod scheduling readiness equal to true right this is the what the we need to enable right now i'll just copy here right and copy and just overwrite it right and also at the same time we need to update the cube scheduler as well so in the cube scheduler point of view the same at the command level right right this is the what the we need to enable and just overwrite it so let's verify this cat qbp server right and we have enabled over here right and <coughs> cat cube scheduler right and uh, here scheduler. yeah here is a cube scheduler right perfect so now we have done this too now let's go back here and go to the main master node here and, and with the, let's see whether cube api server is run and kubectl get pod right and get pod hyphen all pods right and cube api server and cube scheduler is a 20 second 20 second yes perfect this means so let's double check kubectl describe pod right and feature gates are available right and uh, all pod kubectl scheduler master right So scheduler master and just double I'm just double checking whether it's available. perfect okay right so right now and I don't have uh, anything is running here currently at the moment kubectl get a uh, pod no pods are running in my default namespace so what I have is I have a just simple pod which is given in the same documentation as well here you will see in this particular scheduling readiness right this is about the pod definition I put it here right and just copy this particular path Right, and go here kubectl apply iphone f 
this is the what the pod is created right so now cube ctl get pod what is the status it's showing is scheduling is gated which is nothing but pod is not scheduled yet right means i put a some gate what is a gate i applied my scheduler means whatever the scheduler we modified right here this guy this scheduler cube scheduler cube scheduler is ultimately one of the image right container some has it has a some logic right as we explained bind address etc etc right this scheduler should have to match these two conditions then only it will work right so if i go back here right cube ctl and describe pod and a test pod right right so this is the what the uh, status equal to pending yes correct but the thing is the main status is scheduling gated so it it it's not going into the loop and if you go back to the documentation right pod created empty scheduling gate schedule is gate is created man no it won't be scheduled until the all the conditions are met right here so this is the what the they given and how uh, this will uh, work is here and if you just remove this or just comment it right and go back here right and let's uh, what i will uh, test part 2 i will keep it right it's a uh, very simple and then right cube ctl apply and uh, same thing it was it's created cube ctl get part right so container is creating right and if i just put a w then this is my container so test part 2 is running because i have removed the gates so that's what the this is the gates and uh, this is a C still an alpha feature and there are uh, more uh, enhancements are expected here and whatever i explained everything is available here in the scheduling configuration and uh, scheduling related profiles extension points etc right and that's it for this particular session point of view i hope this session is helpful and keep watching this space for the new videos and let me know your feedback in the form of a comments thank you for watching thank you bye bye